Hey everybody, this is Lox with Mile Electric, and today I'm doing my very first Sony Vegas Pro tutorial. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a template, um, which may be useful if you're doing Let's Play videos or any video where you're doing a lot of redundant tasks, maybe pulling in uh, an intro that you have in all your videos, an outro, and maybe a, an overlay. As you can see, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 12 here. And this is the 64-bit version of the application. When it launches, um, you're going to be given uh, default project settings, and you want to go ahead and change those. I'm assuming you will, depending on your source media. I'm going to go ahead and create the template here, which is probably going to be the most common for what you might be uploading to YouTube. Not everybody can do 1080p, so I'm going to change some the resolution here. 720 is actually good. A uh, field order, you're most likely going to have that set to none because you're probably going to be using a progressive scan source. Um, pixel aspect ratio, this is actually all pretty good already. Uh, you want that at 1.0. YouTube is limited at 30 FPS. I'm going to guess that you're going to want to set that to that. And this all looks good. Let's go check out audio. There's only a couple things I really look at in the audio tab. That's going to be a sample rate. That's pretty much what I run at. And I make sure that that's set the best. And that this set to that. The ruler, this is basically how things appear right here. I don't know why you'd have it set to measure and beats. So set it to time and frames. Hit apply. You can see where it changes there. And I mean, you can specify whatever stuff you want to here. Uh, the idea is that you're basically going to save a template. We're going to call this Let's Play. Tut 720 and uh, by that name you should pretty much know what you're going to be working with here and hit save. Now that's basically part one of building a template. If you think that you're going to use this for a lot of different projects go ahead and tick that so every time you start up it will use what you just made. Okay so hit OK. Now we want to pull in the media that we're actually going to be using very frequently. So for me I have an intro logo. I have my post data here. And this automatically creates a, a video track. You can name it whatever, so you'll always remember. Don't name it male with main. So that's cool. And we also want to add a watermark that goes over pretty much everything. So we're going to insert the video track. And this pretty much uses a layer system, so I'm just going to call this top layer so you know what the hell is going on. And we're going to pull in the watermark up on top of that. See? Now you can see it. If this was underneath, of course, you wouldn't be able to see anything. It would actually see where you see part of it here. It's because this particular video... There you go. Now it covers it. It doesn't look pretty, but... We're working haphazard here just to get to the nitty gritty. So you got your intro, you got your outro there, and this is pretty much your template. Now you want to save this and you want this source media to be basically contained within the project. So you go to file, go to save as, and let's create a new folder. Call this let's play template one. And I always just call this like default or something, you know, whatever you want. And this is the key point here. You want to make sure that you have copy media with project. That will basically say to make a copy of this file, this file, and this file. Instead of just referencing wherever they're located at right now. This is particularly useful if, you know, you're moving this from, let's say, like a laptop to your main desktop computer. So we're going to go ahead and say yes, save. If you want to, let's say that you had an audio file, if you create a trimmed copy of it, it basically will take whatever is specified here in the length of the audio file plus two seconds is what the default is. But uh, if you say copy source media, it would take the entire length of the audio file, not just limited by the tails there. So generally I do copy source media because the content that I'm working with for a template are just still images. So, you know, there's no limit on the beginning and the end. So... Now go ahead and hit OK, and it saves instantly because these are very small files. So now, if you close that out, now if you go into the folder that we just created, 
that in, we have the default file and we have our source media. And the next time you want to do a similar project, you'll open it up and it will have everything that you need right here. And if you're just creating a new project on the fly and you don't want to specify any source media, you can still always do the let's play new and then just use your general preferences here. So I hope this video has been helpful if you've been wanting to eliminate redundant tasks. I know that I use this all the time. I'm constantly building new templates for different projects that I'm working on because it really helps streamline things. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for future tutorials right here on Myo Electric. See ya.